Hello, in this video, I want to look at finding the mean and the standard deviation of a probability distribution. Now, we know that basically that you can find the mean of a probability distribution by using that the expected value, or mu, is equal to the sum of x times p of x which we can do by taking, you know, each random variable and multiplying it times its assigned probability, and then just adding. And then similarly, you can find the standard deviation by taking the sum of all of the observations, or random variables in this case, minus the mean. So minus the mean, and that would be squared, times the assigned probability. This probability distribution represents the uh, survey that was based off of the number of movies a Netflix subscriber watches each month. And we can tell that the majority actually will just watch one movie. Now, we'll do this by inputting the information into our calculator. So in this case, we would just have to go to stat, and we would go to edit, and let's use one of these lists. So I'm going to input the random variables first, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. And that's going to be just the random variables in one list. But next, I need to input the random variables probabilities. So in this case, we have that we will input 0 0.06. We will input 0.58. We will input 0.22, we will input 0.1, and then that would be 0.03, and we'll just do this. Okay, so we just need to input 0.01. Okay, now, in any case, we have that the whole probability distribution has been entered into this calculator. And what our goal is to be able to do is to find what is the expected number of movies that a Netflix subscriber would watch each month, as well as looking at the distribution or the spread of this particular data. So we would go to stat, go to the calc column, select one variable statistics, and in this case, um, well, let me just go back real quick. Uh, it's L4 and L5, okay. So I just needed to get the list that we listed it as. Usually we use L1 and L2 respectively, but uh, in our case, I used L4, L5. So we use L4 to represent the random variables, and we use L5 to represent the uh, probability assignments per variable, that is. And we just tell it to calculate. And it looks that we have that the expected value is 1.49 with a standard deviation of 0.9326. Now, notice that in either case, if we were going to, let's say, for example, find the variance, well, then all that you would need to do is just square 0.9327. So we have 0.9327, and then, uh, let's see, yeah, we're going to square that. So, point. 8699, that is also the variance in this case. Or, you know, you could have typed 0.9327 over here and just said squared. Uh, nope. 0.9327 and square it. And we get that that would be 
0.8699. So see like how this bypasses the formula of having to add the square deviations multiplied by the uh, multiplied by the assigned probabilities in any case. And it also gave you the specific parameter that was needed, which in this case was sigma. And if we need to find the variance, then we know that all that we would have to do is just square the standard deviation. 